what's going on guys go to your fan for one seven here and i am back with another review so today i will be reviewing well i got this from walmart today i don't know when you're seeing this though probably on monday or tuesday i meant tuesday um i got the dual strike um dino rivals parasaurolophus finally i finally had the parasaurolophus i wanted the parasaurolophus for so long now i finally have it so dino rivals so let's get into it dress world in the corner um, nice reddish kind of green, not green, reddish kind of orange, Dino Rivals, Triceratops, Chris Pratt, um, Rexy down there, it says Dual Attack, Parasaurolophus, H4+, plus. Par Parasaurolophus himself, um, Dino Rivals, in the back, here's the little card thing, um, Parasaurolophus here, Dual Attack, Jurassic World, Jurassic Facts app, um, give you the code, um, the, we have the Concave in here, and, which I have, and the Triceratops, which I don't really want, because they have the thing roarvor um yeah one dinosaur stuff like that one card um showing the action feature it could do jurassic world on the other side and yeah but we'll get into the action feature feature later so let's get this guy let's get this guy open in two snips oh crap okay oh God. thank you ma'am completely knocked over my camera i'm falling out of the box but Yep, let's go. Parasaurolophus. Bro, I love... Uh, oh, God. Don't fall over, please. Okay, how, how do his legs go? Okay. Try this. It's kind of better. Hey, okay, I'll go with that. Yeah, let's go. Parasaurolophus. First impressions, really like it. Action feature... Oh, shoot. Faction, action figure... Action feature is pretty smooth. There's the tail, there's the head, and yeah, it's pretty much it. So let's get um into details first, if I could position the light correctly. Let's get straight into the details. And like, and, um, lighting change in three, two, one. Okay, yeah, it barely changed, and welcome to the next week, Thursday of next week. So, with the details... It is sculpted and, well, not sculpted, it is painted very much like the Kenner Parasaurolophus from Lost World, and I really like that. I really love how they're basically kind of taking, like, like it's like a legacy collection, but it's not. It's just painted like the Kenner line, like, they're making some repaints of the Baryonyx, which looks like the Kenner one. Um, I don't know if Ceratosaurus was in the Kenner line, but they're just repainting them to make it look like something from make, make it look like Kenner and that's what they did with the Parasaurolophus and I love that so with the details you could see like this nice kind of peachy yellow and some brown stripes going on the on the body and the leg um brown toenails um no painted nails on the hand sadly we got a nice little white underbelly on the bottom and a little red neck um, right here on the neck red spot on the neck then here we have the nice sculpted face and the nice brown crest. And yeah, it's just really nice. So, and there's also like, like I don't know if you can see it, but like tiny dots. I don't know why they did that. I kind of don't like that feature, but it doesn't bother me. Like it's barely noticeable. I also like the sculpting on the back with the little bumps. I don't know, bum? Yeah, bumps. So not scales. On the little bumps. So I really like that. So um, that's pretty much it. It sculpt looks amazing. Paint Kenner brings back Kenner. Well, I mean, not memories because memories because I never had the Kenner line as a kid. Um, but yeah, again, just nice sculpting and painting like the Kenner line. So let's get into the articulation, boys. Okay, so for the articulation, legs could go out that far, could go in this far, could move all the way around. Yeah, there we go. Move all the way around. Um, arms could go out that far. Yeah, T pose could move in. Oh god, this far. Um, could go all the way around. The head, the actual head, could look. Ooh, did I? Okay, I thought I broke it for a second. Um, head could look down that far. Could look up that far. Is in a swivel. Yeah, the whole head's on swivel. And um, the mechanism. This button on the front activates the head right there. And the butt on the back is the tail. So yeah, um, that's pretty epic. Um, but that's honestly pretty much it. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, here we go. 
bar code. <laughs> there you go. So. Okay, you're good. Uh, I think that's it. So, no, no more articulation. I really love this figure. I own... Paris Rolophis was my favorite out of the dual attack line. It goes Paris Rolophis, Concavator, then Triceratops, because I already have the Roar of Wards, which I don't really need. So, yeah, um, speaking of dual, speaking of Concavator, let's get into some size comparison. Here we have Paris Rolophis next to the dual attack Concavator. They're basically the same size. Um, the only thing that really gives Concavator the height is the little thing right here, which is the only thing poking out. And, yeah, pretty... I, I, I really like these two together. You're gonna kill each other. I mean, kill, you're gonna kill each other. Here we have the Parasaurolophus next to the um, Albertosaurus. And I really like the scale. They look really nice together. Just could come around and then take him by the neck. And I completely missed. And he died. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and the subscribe button. It'll really help me out. Instagram on the bottom left corner right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, bye bye Okay, so I didn't notice this until I was editing the video, but I completely forgot to show um the the um playing card. So here's Paris Ralph's nice um art. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing strength is six, speed is four, intelligence is three, and attack is four. I don't know. This is strength. I don't know what these are. Durability? I don't freaking know. Um, Paris Rolophus up there. Dino Rivals, Jurassic World. Okay, so I finished recording it, but this is probably going to go before you see the um details, so roll the details.